and the obscene amount of money I spent on these products for it all to fit in one box. It's ridiculous. Okay. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ohema. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks since, since the Sephora sale ended. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of all the things that you guys influenced me to buy and try out. All the products I will be showing you will be tagged right here. So definitely click that view products tag to see every single thing that I'm going to be trying out in the next coming weeks. Okay. So if you want to see what's in this box, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so we have a giant box in front of us. Let's jump into it. I feel like I got mostly everything that was recommended in that post. One thing that I really wanted that I couldn't get was a perfume recommendation. We know Sephora for makeup, but Sephora is also known for fragrance, okay? So what I did was I picked up a lot of sample. This is the Bon Perfume Discovery Set, and it has like quite a few scents in there. I got this Versace Miniatures Collection. It comes with Bright Crystal and Bright Crystal Absolute. And then we picked up the Killian Sample Kit. I thought this was bigger than what it actually is. So I'm excited about this. Um, another one is the Nest Discovery Set. I'm excited for this. I want to smell all of these. Um, I got an Erin Discovery Set. I've never heard of some of these brands. You know, these things were like $25, $35. So I figured why not? This one I bought mainly because one of my mutuals on Instagram recommended. I have seen so much about these perfumes. I got the miniatures of Very Good Girl and Good Girl. A lot of people love this and I want to see what the hype is all about. We have Valentino. I got this really cute Valentino perfume sampler. Ooh, okay. I got this Armani set that I'm gonna try. This is Aqua Du Jour. I know a lot of people love Aqua Du Jour and it's also my way. Ooh, and I finally got the Fenty fragrance, okay? Like everybody and their mama has already smelt this and I still have not yet. So I picked one up so I can see what the hype was all about. <laughs> I picked up this Juliet Has a Gun. One says Magnolia Bliss and the other one says Not a Perfume. It's a decent size in here, so I'm excited to try. A lot of people love this as well. So let's jump into makeup slash skincare. Number one, Sephora Collection. I like, so I like things from Sephora Collection because they're very good quality, they're very well made, and I also like some of their tools. I picked up the Sephora Collection Facial Razor Set. That way I can get that smooth, clean, close shave. I'm really excited to try it. This is by Sephora Collection. There's four in here. It's gonna go upstairs with the perfumes, obviously. My very first Dennis and Myrick's purchase was done. This is the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation recommended under, the, under my post. Somebody absolutely loves this product because they said it looks like skin. It gives them a really good looking face throughout the day and they really wanted me to try it. So I went ahead and I picked it up. Next, I picked up Sephora Collection makeup sponges because they're really nice and you know i like them i picked up the yummy skin this is the yummy skin blurring balm powder setting powder i feel like i picked up two setting powders because i wasn't sure which one would this product had the internet in a chokehold for a while so it's finally time for me to try. I don't know why I don't jump on things as soon as they arrive, as soon as they're like a hit. I need to start doing that, but I'm really excited to try this. Of course, I picked up enough products from Dennis and Myricks to give me a full face. So of course, we're gonna be doing full face of Dennis and Myricks coming up really, really soon. So keep an eye out for that. I'm looking for a gloss to put on because I know I purchased the gloss. I picked up one of her eye chrome it, this is called the Infinite Chrome Flakes. I picked one up. Picked up setting powder here. I picked up her contour balm. I'm very excited about this because the shades on the website, the contour balm, it looked so good. Picked up two concealers and I picked up her palette. This is the the Nessa Myrick Light Work. It's the Transcendence palette. This is what it looks like on the back essentially for what you're gonna find in there i'm very excited to try it i wouldn't say this is my very first purchase from 
uh, Pat McGrath because I did buy her foundation, setting powder and primer whenever she first launched it. But this is gonna be my very first time trying out a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. A few things that happened to Fenty Beauty that nobody talked about and probably people don't know because Fenty changed things and they didn't really make a huge deal about it. It's just that if you were a Fenty foundation user before, you would have noticed. Mm, I know I bought lip gloss. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Fenty Beauty launched some things and they changed some things around and didn't really tell anybody. Number one, they changed their formula in their um, original matte foundation. They also changed the tones of the foundation to where the dark skin ones look really, really nice and they actually have a shade that I can use. Um, so what I did was I've been using the shade 480. It's a little bit light on my skin. So I picked up the Pro Filter Soft Matte in the shade 490. While I was picking this up, I saw that they have on the miniature Pro Filter, which is the one that they use to introduce their new formula, their new formulations and new formula and new whatever, that they actually have the shade 485, which is like, you know, obviously halfway between 480 and 490. So I picked that up as well because if 490 is a little too dark for me, I know that 485 will be that perfect shade. And it is actually one of the little ones if you didn't know, they have it on the Sephora website right under the Pro Filter foundations. It's it's right there. It's like the tiny, small version of it. These are very good for traveling because they fit in your bag and all that. I'm very excited to try this shade because I, I didn't know that they had this. Then I picked up two concealers. I have Fenty concealers that are sitting there. I feel like they're very old because ever since they launched, I've had them. So I'm decluttering those and I'm getting these. Um, hopefully these were made recently and not just sitting in the warehouse and being shipped out anyway. I picked up another Sephora collection makeup setting mist. I have one of these, I'm using it. I don't wanna run out and not have a replacement because this is really, really good. It keeps my makeup in place. It's matte, it's gorgeous. My lips are still chapped. It's, it's a really nice setting spray, so I will link this as well. I also picked up this new Sephora Collection Matte Perfection Blush Duo in the shade Tiger Lily. It looked really nice on the website, so I figured why not? Plus, Sephora Collection was 30% off, so I was like, yeah, 30% me, why not? Oh, I picked up a Sephora Collection Brow Gel. Okay, I picked up a Sephora Collection Eyeliner in the shade, in a blue shade. During the sale, I went to see if I can pick up some more of their lip liner in the shade Molasses. It was sold out, but then directly below it, you know how they have the recommendations? They recommended the eyebrow pencil, so I wanted to go check and they now have black eyebrow pencils now if you didn't know i am a black eyebrow pencil kind of girl because it shows up really nicely on my skin tone it looks really really good and i never believed anybody that had ever said don't use black pencil on your brows because it doesn't look good. They were lying to you. So I picked up five of these. I picked up two foundations that one has been viral on TikTok. So I picked up the Say Glowy Super Skin Lightweight Luminous Foundation. I wanna try this and see if it's all the hype that people have been talking about. And then I picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. A lot of you have been wanting me to try this foundation. Oh, and then I also picked up a Sephora Collections Concealer Brush. That came in first, it's downstairs. I love the Sephora Collection brushes. They're really cute, they're very functional, they're very good quality. And yeah, that is it for everything I picked up from the Sephora Collection sale. It looks like I mainly mostly picked up perfumes. That is it for me showing you guys my haul from Sephora during the Sephora sale. At this point, because of everything I bought, I am now a VIB. Most of these are new to me because I haven't tried them yet and a lot of you recommended that I try some of these products. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Watching. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!